Hi friends, what if I told you that some of the sweetest fruits like mangoes, grapes or even bananas might actually help your blood sugar instead of harming it? Sounds crazy, right? But new science says otherwise. So today we're going to dive into the juicy truth about how certain fruits, yes, including mango, can balance blood sugar, improve insulin control and even help trim body fat if you eat them right. I'm Dr. Kiat. Let's go heart to heart. Let's start with mango, nature's golden dessert. A new 24-week clinical study from Florida State University followed adults with prediabetes who ate one medium mango every day, about 300 gram. The control group got a granola bar with the same calories, about 200 calories a day. At the end of the study, the mango eaters had lower fasting blood sugar, improved insulin sensitivity, stable HbA1c, and even trends toward less body fat with more lean muscle. So why insulin sensitivity matters? Better insulin sensitivity simply means their cells were better at letting sugar move out of the bloodstream and into the muscles where it is used for energy. When insulin stops working well, sugar hangs around in your blood, raising blood sugar levels and slowly irritating, inflaming your blood vessel walls. HbA1c, on the other hand, is your three months average sugar level, the same test your doctor uses to track diabetes. Mango versus granola, same calories, but different story. The granola bar group saw their sugar levels crept up. Both snacks were equal in calories, as you remember, but not in how the body handled them. The granola bar was more calorie dense, lower in fiber, and had almost no water content. So it didn't fill people up and likely spike blood sugar quickly. The mango, in contrast, was high in water and fiber, which slowed sugar absorption and made people feel full. So even though both were about 200 calories, the mango eaters probably ate less late in the day without realizing it. Mango joins other fiber-rich, colorful fruits that, as shown in the studies, can be smart carbohydrate choices for blood sugar management when consumed in moderation as a part of balanced diet. They don't just deliver sugar, they train your body metabolism. Blueberries, for example, in a six-week Australian trial, people who ate blueberries improve insulin sensitivity. Those blue pigments, called anthocyanins, help muscles soak up sugar more efficiently. Strawberries and cranberries. Studies in Asia and the US found that they reduce post-meal sugar spikes. Their red pigments slow sugar uptake from the gut. Apples and grapes. These fruits contain polyphenols that can help support a more balanced blood sugar as well. But grapes have a higher glycemic index and should be portion controlled for those watching sugar level. Kiwi fruit and bananas. Small trials in Japan and New Zealand showed steadier sugar curves, meaning sugar rose slower and stayed stable. Results for banana are more variable and ripe bananas potentially can raise blood sugar quite quickly. For papaya and avocado, some studies link these tropical fruits to improvement in blood fats and insulin. Not magic, but measurable. Here's the key. Whole fruit behaves differently from anything made in the factory. Its natural fiber and water act like brakes, slowing how sugar enters your bloodstream. That's why nature's sweetness in its whole form helps your heart, while juice and packet sweetness do the opposite. Here is how to enjoy fruits without the sugar roller coaster. 
pair fruit with protein or healthy fat like nuts, yogurt, or chia, it slows digestion and smooths your blood sugar curve. Choose whole fruit, not juice. Juice might start as fruit, but once you remove the fiber, that sugar rushes into your bloodstream much faster. Eat fruit as a swap, not an add-on. I treat fruit as my dessert. I don't eat it on top of a meal. I swap it for dessert. That keeps it within my calorie budget. One to two servings a day of fruit is plenty, just like in a mango trial. Mix colors, reds, greens, and yellows all bring different antioxidants that keep your cells insulin sensitive. Across research, from Sydney to Seoul, Boston to Bangkok, one message is crystal clear. Whole fruits, unlike processed foods and juices, are associated with a low risk of diabetes and heart disease in large studies when incorporated into an overall healthy dietary pattern. Even tropical fruits like mango or papaya, long blamed for being too sugary, actually protect your metabolism when eaten in their natural form and in moderation. One to two servings per day, one handful of berries, an apple, a medium banana. So when someone says, sweet is evil, you can smile and say, mate, this one's nature's guilt-free dessert. If this changed how you see fruit, share it with someone who is still scared of it, and hit subscribe. Remember, it's not about cutting sweetness from your life. It is about choosing the kind that loves you back. I'm Dr. Kiat. Stay heart smart. And I'll see you in the next one. Let's go heart to heart.